cool. Farmer Jesse here wanted to do a quick video on sweet potato slips. Um, I like doing these videos that are, you know, just very fast, kind of help you through the season. Unless you're in the Southern Hemisphere, then this won't be helpful for like six months. But anyway, I wanted to do a little video talking just a little bit about how we do sweet potato slips, how sweet potatoes can be done. Um, because you're probably looking to start your sweet potatoes. So let's do it. Per usual for these videos, I'm just gonna give you a real quick description of how we do our sweet potatoes, and then you can be on your way. Um, we pack them in these little bins, we put a little bit of compost down, we layer the sweet potatoes on top of that, and then on top of that we add a little bit more of this mulchy compost that we use. Um, sweet potatoes grow up in that. Sometimes you can cover that with plastic if you want, if you're in a colder part of the season, like if we did this earlier in April, that's what we would do. Um, cover it in plastic just to get it nice and warm, like, you know, some sort of uh, clear plastic. But generally speaking, since it's been warm enough, we've just put them in there. Um, they'll grow up through, we'll pull those slips out, and then we'll dip them in a sort of compost slurry uh, just to kind of coat the roots, and then we'll put those into the ground. Um, if that's all you wanted to know, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you later. Dogs are barking. Right, so if you want more nerdy details now that the dogs have sort of stopped barking, here we go. Um, this isn't the only way to do sweet potatoes. Um, the slips can be grown a lot of times, like in a commercial scale. People will just lay them out in a bed or in like a furrow, uh, cover that up and let them grow up through the soil. We don't really have that option yet. Like we didn't have like a random place to put them in the ground. Um, but that is an option. You can just literally lay them in the ground and then pull the slips up. You mud them, you put them in mud. Uh, and before you plant them, that just coats the roots and it makes them, you know, adapt better to the soil. Um, I also like putting compost in there or a good inoculating compost just to get some good microbial life involved. Um, I like putting them in these bins that you can kind of vaguely see behind me because the uh, because we can take those wherever we need them. So we can just literally take those over to the sweet potato area, pull them, mud them, and, and plant them kind of all really quickly. Um, and in terms of how much you need, uh, one medium-sized sweet potato, like half a pound, gives you about eight slips. Roughly. I mean, some sweet potatoes may give you more, some may give you less. Um, we usually save about 75 pounds for 800 row feet of sweet potatoes. And all a row foot is, essentially, is the length of the row. So if you have one 100-foot bed with one row in it, that's 800 row feet. Also, those numbers I mentioned about 75 pounds, that is for our 8 to 10 inch spacing. Uh, that's pretty close for sweet potatoes, and somebody may be like, that's really close for sweet potatoes. A lot of people space them at a foot or even like 18 inches, and the reason that we don't do that is the, the wider the spacing, the bigger the sweet potato. And I talked about this in my harvesting sweet potato video, but uh, we kind of want like small, long sweet potatoes. That's what we're going for. Um, the other thing with slips is if you are running into diseases and stuff on your sweet potatoes, I'm going to recommend not using the same sweet potatoes that you grew last year for your slips. They can bring that virus over from last year to this year. You don't want to do that. Uh, you can all, you can order like virus free slips. That's what like a lot of commercial growers do. Um, they're tested for viruses and all that stuff. We don't do that, but you can, we've never had virus issues on our sweet potatoes, but it could theoretically happen. Also, in terms of like what sweet potatoes to use, if you just want a variety, you can actually go buy certified organic sweet potatoes from the store and have them sprout yourself. Um, I like using our own sweet potatoes just because they're kind of adapted to our area. But in theory, you could use any organically certified sweet potato. It may not sprout that quick depending on where it was harvested. So if you get it from like the Southern Hemisphere, right now it may not sprout as quick as something that was harvested last year in the Northern Hemisphere um, and vice versa however that works. Ideally, you'd keep it in that like 75 to 80 degree range for germination, for sprouting, but you'll see in your house, sweet potatoes start sprouting. It's a good sign to get them out, start them in slips. Um, there's a lot of other ways to do slips too. We used to dig a trench, cover that with, uh, lay out the sweet potatoes in there, cover that with like a grate, like a fence, and then we would cover that with sand. So then the sweet potatoes would grow through that and we'd pull those out. The real, the only thing you really want is those roots to develop. So you can sort of just germinate sweet, or you can sort of get sweet potato slips to grow anywhere, but if you don't get them to put out some roots, they won't establish as well in the bed. So you really want, that's where the compost comes in, that's where the sand came in. It establishes a small amount of roots so that when you pull the slip off the potato, um, you have roots that can, you know, be once again mudded 
into something like dip in mud and then plant it. And that will, um, those are the more roots you have, the better. In fact, uh, my mentor, Eric Smith at Bug Tussle Farm always said that he didn't care about the size of the plant. Like it doesn't matter really how tall they get. He actually liked small plants as long as they had a lot of roots on them. And we found that to be true. You can plant a really small sweet potato slip, but you want a lot of roots. So any way that you can get soil or sand or compost or something involved to get those roots to come out of the slip, that's ideal. That's what you really want to get the sweet potatoes established as fast as possible. Anyway, like I said, quick video. I don't know how many minutes I went, but like this video. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. We'll see y'all later. Thanks. Bye.